kids? What? What do you think we're going to learn about today? What did we learn about last week? Um, about David and Goliath. No, we learned about King David. Yeah. And King... Solomon. And we're learning about his punishment this time. Oh, yes, you're already getting ahead of the questions. We're learning about his punishment. What did Solomon do that he was not supposed to do? Stole someone else's wife? That was his daddy, David. Uh, what did Solomon do that he wasn't supposed to do? He took too many wives, too many horses. Too many wives, too many horses. And worshipped the Too many gods. And worshipped the heathen gods, like the Bible calls them. The heathen gods. That's right. That's very good. What did you learn last week, Daniel, my quiet kid? Um, what was the fun part? The, the um, David killing Goliath. Well, that was a couple episodes ago. Yeah. Was there a submarine? Yeah. yeah and Do you think there's? Captain Pete had a water leak. A water leak. Yep. Oh. Do you think he gets saved? Or, yeah, is, or did I heard Pirate Pete? Oh, voice in the next video. Oh, when we, Mom and Dad were watching it yeah, last heard, night, you heard it? I heard his voice say, thankfully, Mr. Phil Fisher saved me. Oh, you're just spoiling it for all the kids. We better go downstairs and watch it, and then we're going to talk about it some more. Because otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, all the kids at home are going to know exactly what happened because you listened to it last night while we, you were supposed to be sleeping. <laughs> I fell asleep. You fell asleep, so you didn't hear it, so it'll be new for you. Did you fall asleep while Mommy and Daddy were watching it last night? Yeah. 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 Okay, with that, we're going to go watch. We think all you kids yeah. at home should, he too. Can come and watch? He probably will. We'll see. We'll maybe even ask him questions. We'll see. <laughs> Are we ready to rumble? Yeah! Or give away all the answers to all our friends? Give okay. away all the answers to our friends. Okay, so what did you learn? What was the funnest part, Elizabeth? Uh, the funnest part was when I think it was when I fly. Then I'm gonna fly. When Mr. Phil said, when 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 Mr. Phil did tell them, Ian said, I'm gonna fly. The, our fly came right into him, oh, and then Ian tree. said, I don't think God wants him to do that. That was pretty funny. How about you, Nathan? Fly my biplane. What about you? What was the funnest part, Nene? Uh, I like when Pilot Pete was flying around in the back yard of the church. That was pretty fun. How about you, Sam? Um, I like um I like when Pilot Pete said all oh, laughs because the plane was too fast. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was pretty funny. What is the world's most important book? The phone book, right? Oh, the Bible. Oh, you guys are too smart. What are the first three kings we learned about? Um, we learned about three kings. Who are the Israel's first three um, kings? The uh, and that next piece, and we also learned about that. So the next first three kings are who? Saul. Solomon, Saul no, Saul. Saul. David and Solomon. And very good. And that nasty queen thought, Jezebel. That's later. We're not talking about nasty queen Jezebel yet. One at a time. I thought they were going to ask Stephen questions too. Oh, we might too. We'll see. When Saul sinned, he did what? He made excuses. And acted like it didn't matter. When David sinned, he did what? Repented. No excuses, right? Mm -hmm. I thought it was King Solomon that acted. What was Solomon's sins? He had too many wives, too many dogs, too many horses. And he started worshipping what? False gods. False gods. Maybe one was a tiny metal cow. Yeah, like, like yours. Oh, yeah, we'll show it's you this. Daddy's We're going to talk about the tiny metal cow in a bit. <laughs> what was the consequence of Solomon's sin? Mm. So Solomon sinned, and what happened? He... The end of Israel came. <laughs> Not yet. He did what? I was 
Sam. So, what else? So, was the king? What happened to the kingdom because of Solomon's sin? He, the kingdom split in two again. Two, right? And we had a king in the south was named. No, it was named J J J J. No, sorry, Rehoboam was in the south, and who was in the north? Jeroboam. With Jezebel? Why did the kingdom split other than because God wanted it to? But so, so the Rehoboam was sitting there and he was listening to all his high school buddies. And they said, work your people harder. Right? Yeah. And actually his father's advisor, so the older, wiser people said, maybe you should listen. And who did he listen to? His friends. His friends. Is that always a good idea? No. Are you sure? Yeah. If your friends say work people harder, is that a good idea? Yeah. So if my friends say to work Stephen harder, should I? No. No? Okay. I don't think you have friends. You don't think Daddy has friends? What? Whoa. <laughs> wow. Daddy's friend came by yesterday. That's harsh. That's very harsh. Daddy's friend came by yesterday. Yeah, my friend was here, remember? We had friends here yesterday for lunch. Who? Nathan. My cousin came, remember? I, well, that too. I have lots of cousins. But anyways, yes, remember we had friends here yesterday. Oh. <laughs> oh. You don't think Daddy has friends. That really hurts Daddy's feelings, Nathan. Okay. Actually, Daddy finds it funny. Was Jeroboam the king of the north? Was he a good king? No. No! Why not? Because. Because why? What did he make the people of Israel and Judah do? Uh, he made them work hard, hard, hard. No. What did he make them do? <laughs> now we get to talk about tiny metal cows. He made them work hard. Ship tiny metal cows. They wouldn't have to go down to where... Rhea, where the other kingdom was to worship. So he made them worship tiny metal cows Daddy, again. Daddy has a tiny metal cow. I have a tiny metal cow. This is from marketing. It's, it's a little a bull. It's a little bull, but it's the closest thing I got to a tiny metal cow. I might include, might have Uncle Ben include a picture in the description on this video. We'll see if he can do that. Tiny metal cow. We'll take a picture of the tiny metal cow, but we're not going to worship the tiny metal cow, right? No. No worshiping the tiny metal cow. So this is a bull. It's used in marketing to represent... Markets that are going to go up, but anyways, and then they have a bear to represent mar markets that are going to go down. But Uncle, you see, so I got this little bull at a marketing event. Uncle Juan had to yeah. have the bear. Well, how come it's for going up and down? Uh, that's a whole marketing discussion. We can talk about that one more later. But mm -hmm. for some reason, bulls represent optimism and things going up, and bears represent markets going down. Anyways, so this is my tiny metal cow. Why do people worship tiny metal cows? Can you imagine? See, he's sitting here on top of a coffee cup and a nice little pedestal. I'll take a picture. So why would you worship something like this? Where else did they worship tiny metal cows? Remember? Where else did they worship tiny metal cows in the Bible? When Moses came down Mount Sinai. They did it again, right. And you know what? In my quick reading last night, it was just quick. Daddy's not very good at understanding some of this other stuff. But their neighbors also worshipped tiny metal cows. And some people in Egypt worshipped tiny metal cows. And you know what? The prophets of Baal that we talk about later, they worshipped also tiny metal cows. Actually, it might have even been big metal cows. I don't know. But bull. Bull and cow worship. Now, we really like our cows, don't we? Do we have cows? Yeah, we do. Of yeah, course. we do. Of course we do. Moo, moo, moo. But should we worship our tiny, or even our live cows? Yeah. No. No, Hannah. No, we shouldn't. Say no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, you're shaking your head. We shouldn't worship tiny metal cows. No cows. So the two famous prophets during these times, so that... Ellie, Ellie, leave her. The two famous prophets during these times were... Uh, Elijah and Elisha. Elisha, yep. 
And they were in this culture where they're worshipping tiny metal cows. They're not following God. So they had an evil queen. What was the evil queen's name? Jezebel. I thought we had a cat named Jezebel, didn't we? No. Oh, Uncle Ben had a cat named Jezebel, right? Yep. So the guy that pieces together all of this church, he has a cat named Jezebel. Why? He used to. Oh, he, he used died, to. died, though. Yeah, because the cat wasn't very nice, so they named her Jezebel. Uh, it's true. That's why she was named Jezebel. Because she wasn't a very nice cat. What did she do? I don't know. She just wasn't very nice. So You yeah. can't catch it. And Jezebel made Elijah run all away. And she had so then, what did, what did, yeah, what did they do? What did they do for the prophets? What did Elijah do in the most famous story the cat, of this book? The cat would have said, you can't come in this house. What did they do? What did they do? Um, they made a prophet smack down. They had a contest. And what was the contest? It was a pie-eating contest, right? Fighting. No, it was. Dad and Steven should have a pie-eating contest, right? Yeah. We'll tell Mommy to make a whole bunch of pies. Yeah. And then Steven, who's living with us for a while as he's helping out on the farm, for all those of you at home, he's, you know, 18, so he could probably out-eat Daddy, right? Yep. Yep. But it'd be a good excuse to get Mommy to make a whole bunch of pies, eh? He couldn't out-eat me. Yeah. Speaking of which, yeah. here's a plug. Here's a plug, everybody at FCBC. My aunt, who actually, kids, who actually lived in this house that I'm recording this right now, with Blessing the Children, has Pies for a Month Club as part of the fundraiser for Blessing the Children. So if you really like pie, go see Blessing the Children. They will bring you a pie a month and they'll deliver it to town. So you can go pick them up somewhere. You can talk to Blessing the Children. I'm sure they got a website where they'll talk all about it. But yeah, then lots of pies. If they sell lots of pies, and maybe if there's leftovers, me and Stephen will have to have a pie eating contest. If Stephen like okay, tea, anyways, it would back. Be a tea. So how did Elijah make fun? So all the prophets, they made sacrifices on altars, and they said, no, 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 we're not going to light them. We're going to make our gods light them. So what did the prophets of Baal do? They shouted and yelled and screamed and said, please light the fire. Please! Did it work? No. For a whole half a day. They got tired. And what did Elijah themselves. do? And they hurt themselves, because hurting yourselves makes God, you know, pay attention to you in their minds, which is not true. So, what did they do? What did Elijah do? Uh, he, my, he... He got a fire truck out and made it wet. No. Oh, it was jars, but they made the sacrifice wet so it wouldn't burn so easy, and then what? And then go, fire came. Yeah, but how did he do it? Did he wail and cry? And no. He just said a simple prayer. Dear Lord, you know that we're the true God and make fire come. And fire came. And it did. But he started to make fun of Baal's prophets. He actually kind of wasn't very nice. He said, maybe your God, God is, is gone. asleep. He, or maybe he's, he's gone, gone to, to the, the bathroom. bathroom. I know. I love it. I love it. And did he come? No. And Baal didn't come. So that's what we know this week. Are we excited? Did we learn lots? Yeah. We're going to color a picture of Elijah. And, and a golden cow. I got a few pictures. Actually, there wasn't a picture of a golden cow. In the coloring sheet. So I don't know what to do there. Color, um, but you could the draw the golden cow. Nasty queen. Oh, you could draw the nasty queen. There wasn't a coloring page of that either. What? I know. Nasty Queen Jezebel. I know. But anyway, so we're going to color. And all you people listening at home, we're going to do it. Okay? What are we going to color? I don't nasty know. Queen Jezebel? Well, if you guys want to draw Nasty Queen Jezebel, you can. But let's say goodbye to all our friends that are going to be bye, listening. Bye, bye. Oh, I bye. think. Bye. But say we bye, can't everyone. Even see bye. them. Say, well, they can hear you, though. So can you say bye, everyone? Bye, bye.